Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. How's it going, Jared? Great. Thanks for having me. You know, you've been on this roller coaster playing different roles for the last few years. What went into saying yes to taking on this role? And now that it's finally coming out. <laughs> well, a brand new character has never been interpreted before. The first time on screens, uh, you know, an opportunity to be part of what Sony and Marvel are doing. Uh, you know, maybe some some you know, future to rub shoulders, uh, get in the ring with Spider-Man, who knows, but uh, all of it was just, is exciting. You know, I, I, I love these kind of movies and I think it's a great time to get, it's a, it's a good movie for people to get back in theaters that love to go to theaters like me that love a big fun popcorn movie that's, uh, you know, full of action and adventure and fantasy. It's a little bit on the, a little bit on the dark side of things. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited about that. Now, when you take on these roles, these comic book roles, there's so much that has to go into it so that you know a lot more about the characters. You know, these fans come up to you and like, oh, did you do this? Did you do that? How much stock do you take into reading the comics and what there is said about the character outside of what the script says? There's a lot. And uh, that's exactly what you want. You know, you, you want to have that time and space to ask a lot of questions, to dig deep, to build a character to have an understanding of the universe of the multiverse and uh, you know, to really go on that journey. And, and I love that. I love the process. I love the preparation and, you know, I'm excited for, for people to have go to the theater and sit in that dark room together and have fun opening weekend, April 1st. And uh, you know, as we're, we're we have a, a, a little bit of, seemingly normalcy from uh, this crazy COVID and uh yeah, it's a good time. <clears throat> was it work fun getting back and doing some stuff behind, with the CGI? <laughs> yeah, all of it's great. I mean, I, I love a new experience. I love new challenges. And this role for me was really challenging because it had three different roles kind of wrapped into one. <clears throat> now, when you're working on Daniel and for the different projects you've done lately, all actors are still learning. What did you pick up from Daniel, you know, through his direction that maybe you can take on to your next project or something you haven't done before? Well, I learned a lot because I hadn't really starred in a film like this before. Um, and, and, you know, Daniel was really passionate about the material, about the project. He really wants to elevate everything that he does. And it's great to be reminded of that, that you know, by the people around you, that, you know, here is an opportunity to really push things forward as far as we can. Uh, and I think we, we, we shared that, that, uh, that desire. You know, when you take on a Marvel film and you're the lead, and it's no secret. Marvel just doesn't do a one and done. So when you take on this role in your head, do you say to yourself or your team says, Hey, be prepared for a long run because we're assuming it's going to be successful that you're going to have to come back and play this role down the road, you know, for a second or a third time. <sighs> I always kind of count on disaster. So, uh, you know, I, I'm prepared for, you know, to never be asked back. Um, uh, but but be, be, it would be a lot of fun to keep exploring the character. And, you know, these uh, there's just a, such an incredible abundance of talent at, at Marvel. And it would be a thrill to uh, to do it again. If I let you go, I want to say I have seen We Crashed and you did an amazing job at that. You know, you. It's like, you know, it's good to see you play these different roles because, you know, you never know, or at least I never know what you're going to get out of it. So I appreciate that. And if, was there anything you want to get out of these characters that you play? Do we root for them or not? <laughs> I mean, I, I think you don't have to root for them, but I think it's important that I, if I do my job, you see the humanity. Um, you see a well-rounded person. You don't see two dimensions. Uh, no one is a hundred percent villain unless you're a psychopath or a sociopath, and then you could be, but even then they still have a mother, they have a father, sometimes they have children. Um, but, you know, it's my job to to, to deliver a well-rounded character no, no matter what. So they let you see We Crash, but not Morbius. I did see both. I oh, did okay, see good. Both. Okay, just checking. Okay, thank you. <laughs> job well done on both. Take Thanks care. for the time. I just didn't know if you guys have seen it yet, but thank you so much. We did. Take care. Bye-bye.